slow there again. We're slowly starting to make some progress here. What I've done was disassemble the seat, uh, reroute the wires again, uh, put in six new wire ties, and uh, lubricated the rails. And that's about it. I did start to begin the, the leather working process to try to smooth the leather out some as any car with this kind of age on it is going to have some wear and tear on it and discoloration um, but it definitely need it to be moisturized and what I did was heat it up with the the uh, heater here and get the leather nice and warm and then applied Actually, I did a cleaning before I applied the protectant slash moisturizer. And when I did that, I used rubber gloves and sprayed it on all over and massaged it into the fine BMW leather that it is. And the results have come out nicely. I suspect once the protectant wears out I will be in search of some dye to recover or at least not recover but to add uh, some pigment to the cracks. Um, one of the ways to do that is by wet sanding uh, with some very fine wet with sandpaper and uh, water and sort of work it work the dirt out of there and then uh, stain it and uh, it's, a, it's a long process uh, but you can turn an old seat like this into virtually a new seat as long as there's no rips or tears uh, the if you do have that then you'll probably need some professional help the upper part does have some uh, small tears in it that I think I'll be able to take care of on my own and we'll see shortly about that but this is just a uh, one of many updates on the driver's seat pleased with it. Even more pleased once I get the back on it here later this evening. Hopefully within the hour or so. And then I'll call tonight. And restart again tomorrow. You'll have a wonderful evening. I'm sure we'll talk again soon.